for us are doing it. And again, from a business standpoint, I didn't get a chance to see that when I was a general manager and coach. Again, we will take every question that you have tonight, but I'll give you a, just a little bit of direction of what we're doing. I came in with a kind of a three-part strategy. I wanted to secure our reputation. I wanted to improve the reputation. I wanted it to be a league that people are, 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 are proud of, that, that we, everything we do, we do correctly. Game seven was something that we're all very much aware of, and, and it is an event that happened. But, but game seven was not the end of our league. If anything, it was probably the beginning. It was the first time in the history of our league where our eight owners stopped looking at themselves as eight franchise owners that cared about their individual teams, but they're eight owners of a league. They're eight, eight owners of one thing that they have to come together. They've got to vote together. They've got to do things that's the best for the league. So it's an exciting time and we're getting some really good things happen. I've got to be at, at, at the Niagara uh, River Lions press conference my first day when they announced that they were, that what the name of their team was and what their color was. And, and went out east and I spent time with a lot of the teams out there and saw where they were and saw what we needed to shore up, talked to a potential expansion organization, looked at Moncton, looked at Halifax, was around PEI, did our first town hall meeting in, in, in St. John. After that, I spent a lot of time on the road trying to focus on, on finding more players. So we're gonna go out and we're on a, a 16 to 20 city tour around North America, holding combines, tryout events, looking for talent, um, finding talent. So instead of having everybody have to come to Toronto and try out for us, we're going, I've been to South Bend, Indiana, I've been to Las Vegas, I've been to Orlando, Florida, I've been to Los Angeles, California. I've got trips next weekend, and I'm going to go to Buffalo, New York. And again, we're, we're, we're going to go to um, Washington, D.C., we're going to be in Calgary, we're going to be in Edmonton, we're going to be in Vancouver, we're going to be in Montreal. We're looking all over North America for the best talent we can for our league. Gives us great exposure, gives us great talent. Frank, right, 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 we're generating revenue. So the league is going to start generating revenue to help these franchisees not have to spend all their money just to prop the league up. The ultimate goal is that these guys can generate, I can generate enough money that maybe one day they're not only putting money in to keep the league afloat, but they're actually <laughs> being able to cut, we are going to cut dividend check for what the league generates as well. Commissioner Madge, let's talk about the town hall that, was, that you did here uh, and, and what you thought of it generally. You know what, I, I, I couldn't believe the number of people that showed up. They put out 30, 40 seats, filled it up, brought out three or four more rows of another 10 to 20 seats. You get 50 to 60 people to come out to listen to an old guy talk about basketball and their league and their Windsor Express. People coming in on Twitter, questions are coming out. I mean, I don't think we can get much better. Town halls um, around the country should set that tone to let them know that here's what we're doing. Um, if there are any questions, any information, they can get it right from the horse's mouth. I think if we continue to put the league out front rather than individual markets, it'll set a heck of a tone to let everybody know that the National Basketball League of Canada wants to grow, expand, and, and develop. These are the things that the league needs to do in terms of being out in the forefront and being uh, accessible and communicating, is it not? Transparency, honesty, letting people see the vision. I had a young lady say that I never understood the, the global vision of the league, the, the big picture of the league, and this, I think this is important. Again, getting out front was really important. I think um, uh, Commissioner has a, uh, a unique personality that uh, is contagious, and so I'm comfortable with him hitting the markets because um, you have to be a likable person. National Basketball League of Canada, we, uh, we wanted an energetic feel, and when he comes, he brings that energetic feel. He's a quiet elephant in the room, very quiet, but uh, has a great feel to him, and that's what you need. I came to this town hall to be part of the growth and part of the enthusiasm that the commissioner is bringing to Windsor. After the Game 7, we were a little concerned about what was going to happen to the league, what was going to happen to Windsor, and I think the Commissioner is doing a great job at bringing the uh, anxiety down and the enthusiasm up, and I hope it's going to, uh, to make for a great season coming up. I liked it because it was informative, and it talked about the, the generalities and the focus of the team in the league, rather than falling into the negative of some games, some experiences, and a lot of things can fall into the negative. And that's not helpful. So
So this was a real moving forward. I liked that a lot. Good. No, it was, it's so nice, but it's just the theme of the whole league, right? Because it is so accessible. I mean, how many leagues do you get to, you know, voice your opinion to the commissioner or ask him questions? Not many, right? But uh, so it's nice that they they are doing this and listening to people. And he seems like I think he seems like a really good guy. Like he seems to know, you know. I think they got the right candidate. Uh, moving ahead now, I know I know we're in the midst of an additional town hall combine as well. Can you kind of give a general sense of what, what what's on the horizon? Well, I mean, I've, I've, I've got to get out to Moncton, got to get out to Halifax. Got to look at Cape Breton and see how real that's going to be. Got to get those deals closed up as fast as we can. I've got combines coming up in Washington, D.C., in Sarasota, Florida, in um, Dallas, Texas, Buffalo, New York, Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, Montreal. Um, we've got uh, Oakland, Kansas City, uh, probably Atlanta, maybe Minneapolis. I mean, we're just... It's basically every weekend through to the start of training camp. I'm going to be someplace looking at people, looking at players, promoting our league, generating a little bit of revenue, hopefully, and then through the week trying to get the business of the of the league taken care of. Uh, it's it's heavy lifting. I wouldn't want it any other way. It's a lot of fun. It's like it's like I told Dardis today. He's having fun. If they were making money, oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine. He'd be he'd be the candy man. He'd be so crazy. But he's. He works and he has great energy and he's having fun with this. This is a game. We should have fun with this. So I have a chance to be a part of this and it just feels really good. Sure. And, and and this may be the first time I've buttoned my jacket in a long time, so I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> As I try to button mine. <laughs> well, I, uh, th well, thanks for the time, Commissioner Maggs. Uh, congratulations on the great work that you're doing. And we're only just getting started, obviously. A lot obviously. to do, brother. Thanks a lot for to do, but hey, it's all we do. A lot to do. For, for sure. And we all Canada Live. We're signing off.